Hey guys, Steve Christini here. I'm gonna give you a little tour of our facility here in Philadelphia. Show you about our Christini EV, Christini Moto, Christini bikes. Now let's go inside and we'll check it out. So this is our retail shop. So this is actually just regular bike stuff, but we have a bunch of our uh, e-bikes over here. And we're gonna give you guys a little tour of the back where we actually fab design, do all our engineering development, um, a little bit of skunk works, because they're really just a small shop that does big things. So I'm excited to show you guys what we have here. And here's our uh, regular bike fixing area. And in here is our kind of our main shop floor. Um, what we have in here is a little bit of everything. So we're gonna, we're gonna kind of give you a little bit of tour. Um, but you can see over here, we got some ATV stuff, which is our new uh, venture with the electric vehicle. We got our fat tire moto there, which is the beginning of what we're gonna do on the electric vehicle side of that. And then we have some e-bikes, some legacy stuff from military bikes to our development stuff that we did with KTM. Um, and in here is our little office space with a lot of uh, basically what we like to call our museum. So let's head on in here and I'll show you that. So the company is uh, it kind of split into a few different groups. We've got the bicycle side, the motorcycle side, and our new venture, which is uh, Christini EV, which is going to be all the electrical, electric vehicle, both ATV and moto. Um, but we started almost 20, uh, 21 years ago is when the company was formed. And we started out as a bicycle company, and we developed a technology um, for all-wheel drive bikes, and that uh, moved into moto and did a lot of stuff with the military. And as of late, the last few years, we've been working with the military on various projects, and now that kind of spawned us into the electric vehicle world. So I'm gonna show you right now one of the first things, this is kind of cool, old tech, but this is a 20-year-old trade show thing that showed what we used to do with our drive system technology. And this is pretty cool because it shows how the all-wheel drive bicycle uh, concept works and it's all-wheel drive because it's traction control it's not all-wheel drive I know there's not four wheels people say that but there's there's two wheels and it, it has a drive system that goes through the frame and you can kind of see in back here there's a there's a gearing system um, it's got a clutch mechanism can engage and disengage drive shaft goes up through the frame this is one of our old full suspension models and you can see the drive system goes through the head tube down into the front where there's a triple clamp, where there's a chain, and then down to the front wheel, and you can see a shaft on the opposite side. And we can show you on one of the new ones later, but this is uh, cut apart just to show people how the drivetrain actually works. The neat thing about this technology is that because it's a traction control system, it only transfers power when you need it. So it's very efficient, uh, makes um, regular biking without a motor, uh, gives you more traction. But when you put a motor on it, like all the new e-bikes, the thing becomes really a, what we like to call the monster truck of uh, e-bikes. So it's great for regular off-road riding and also for uh, hunting, outdoorsmen, and things like that. So we'll move over here and we're gonna kinda go into one of the, the very first things that we did in the moto world, and this is, we call it the dinosaur. It's very cryptic and old and it's in kind of pieces, but this was the first uh, all-wheel drive motorcycle that had a mechanical drive system using the same head tube technology. This bike is about 20 years old. It was profiled a long time ago in uh, Cycle World magazine. And uh, so we, we did a lot of testing initially uh, with some big companies, um, including Honda and others. And this technology does the same thing as the bike in that it's a traction control system. So all the new stuff that's in the Christini EV, which we're gonna talk about in a little bit, all those new vehicles on the two-wheel side are gonna have this all-wheel drive tech. We're not gonna drive the motors by, um, by hub motors in the front of the electric vehicle for the motorcycle, but rather the mechanical using regular motors. So this drive system comes off the back, uh, or comes off the motor, drives power to the back, and then to the front of the motorcycle. And, and a little bit further in the tour, I'm gonna to show you some of the new vehicles, because um, this thing is pretty rustic, and that's why we call it the dinosaur. Um, there's some other stuff kind of hanging on the wall here. These are all different um, actual fabricated frames we make here. We're gonna show you in the back uh, the small machine shop and where we cut and weld everything. 
And so these are all pre-production and or production frames that'll get powder coated. They've been to the heat tree facility. So unlike a lot of guys who say they make stuff in the US or they only just paint, we actually cut, weld, fab, heat treat, powder coat, and final assemble all our bicycles right here in Philadelphia. Um, this right here, just to give you an idea what a little more polishing is, and we'll show you out front too. This is actually a production fat tire motor uh, bicycle e-bike. And this is essentially uh, one of our models that we sell to the, uh, the hunters that are out there. Um, something that we talked about briefly, and I'm going to jump back to the technology while we're talking all-wheel drive. It's this kind of a fun story to tell. Um, this technology was developed, and you probably see in the background a couple uh, model helicopters. And the technology that's in the head tube of this, the motorcycle, and the e-bikes was developed from... Uh, helicopter technology. It was an idea way back when I went to mechanical engineering at, at Villanova. Came up with the idea from working on the tail rotor system of a, of a model helicopter. So we borrowed technology and stuck it into a bicycle and then changed the clutching and all these different mechanisms. So this was uh, basically like a lot of mechanical ideas. Take something that was already refined and developed and reinvented it really to insert into a new new vehicle. So there you have a little bit of a story here. There are a little museum. I'm going to go out into the shop and I'll, I'll show you a couple of the versions because there's some fun history out here too. So if you look up on the wall, this old firehouse that we're in, this is an old Philadelphia firehouse, you see all these different frames. And I like to show these because they're they, to the seasoned bike guy they'll probably look pretty hokey, but they are, remember, 20 years old. So we got all these different versions. You're gonna see one up there that says Jeep. We were the original guys who licensed uh, to Jeep technology. You're gonna see other Jeep bikes out there, but we were the first guys that did that with, um, with the all-wheel drive technology. And you can see a bunch of different versions, full suspension models that folded, and some other different things over the years. So that's all kind of a little historic stuff. Um, while we're talking uh, kind of the, the timeline of technologies from initially all-wheel drive to the bicycle, and then we went into the motorcycle, the first one, I'm gonna show you a production bike that's um, one that actually is, is similar to what we have in the military. This bike here, and we'll probably do this a little bit later and give you a little bit of demo, but this is actually similar to what we have with the Air Force right now. The Air Force Special Forces, uh, has about 80 of our bikes, and then we have a bunch of other motorcycles with other um, international militaries overseas, all NATO groups. And then we've also supplied some of the, the tactical special ops units over the years. So we have operating motorcycles in the military right now that use our all-wheel drive technology. Um, so fast forward a little bit to some of the new stuff we're gonna talk about is this vehicle right here is, it's a, based on a motorcycle, this is still gas, um, but this is a kind of a collaboration with another company that already makes the fat, uh, fat tire bikes. Um, and this is gonna be for uh, really the, the slower speed off-road type of guys. Think hunter, think um, outdoorsman. Um, this bike, although it's gonna have a, you know, 450 motor like our other bikes, is also gonna have a, um, an auto clutch in it, and we're gonna gear it down. So this is gonna be a, a commercially available product through the Christini technology side, which is the motorcycle group. Uh, we are working right now on an electric version of this, which will be in Christini EV, and that's going to be basically a hybrid version, which will be much like the ATV that we're gonna talk about in a little bit. It'll run primarily off of electric motor power plant, and it'll have a hybrid uh, motor to actually increase the range of the vehicle. But it, these all have the same technology that we showed before in the bikes and the motor. This is going to have, uh, right now it's in rear wheel drive. Click a little switch on the handlebars and you can see the front wheel moving right there. So that's, uh, that's a little basic demo on that. Before we get into the, the new stuff with the ATV, I'm gonna, we're going to do a little walk back here. Guys are uh, welding up some frames, so it's always kind of cool to see guys actually fabbing. So, small shop, as I mentioned, we got raw material tubing in here. We cut it, we have to fixture up everything. We have certain models and sizes that we use our fixture for. 
um, small lathe and mill uh, and some other parts. And these guys are, as you can see back there, cutting, tacking. Uh, and then once we tack the frames, we take them uh, to a local guy who finish welds them, a master welder. And then they come back and they'll go to heat treat uh, where we process the aluminum. And then they go to powder coat where they get into a finished color where people can pick their color. And then we go into final assembly so that you can get your bike and do your thing. So it's a little bit of that. Um, in the back, we actually have uh, basically the component assembly room. No need to really show you that, but we got a lot of components. We bring all this stuff. So once we do the final assembly of the frames, some of which you saw on the wall over there, we take those frames and then we'll final assemble them uh, and they'll go out the door to the consumers. Uh, that gives us a good kind of a movement into from the bicycle to the motorcycle stuff into the e-bike and then on to what we like to call our kind of the the main course right now what we're doing with the electric vehicle technology and right here is um, our new Christini EV uh, hybrid electric hub motor ATV so we're going to do a complete kind of run through of how this works uh, but it's probably a good time to kind of uh, take a break and show you, you know, discuss a little bit more about what we're going to do on the, on the next steps. Christini EV. More power, more range, more adventure.